What's going on, YouTubers? My name's Scott. Um, just wanted to show you guys what I got going on. And I'll start making some more videos on these things and sharing them with you if you guys have anything that you want to add. Uh, basically, I'm a big NASCAR fan. You can see this. This is a 1993 Harry Gantt Skull Car that I bought about a year ago. And uh, I haven't really done much with it since I got it. Uh, it's just kind of been sitting around, uh, but I'm trying to get it up and running again, at least to be able to take it to car shows and stuff. We'll see what I do with it later, but um, <clears throat> basically, when I was in high school, I was a big rotary guy. I was an RX-7 guy, so I can rebuild those engines and do everything, but at the time, I never really learned much about these engines. So I'm kind of learning as I go along, so if I ever say anything or do anything dumb, Feel free to correct me uh, if you ever have any tips, any tricks, if you think there's a part that I should get, feel free to comment anything. I'll take any input you got. But uh, basically, so I got this thing running about a week ago, uh, but it's not running well. You can tell it's got a miss, and uh, uh, I definitely got to get the car probably rebuilt, tuned. Uh, it's it's running way too rich uh, But it's got a miss you can tell it's got a miss. It's not running right. So I went around <clears throat> and uh, Gosh three of the spark plugs were so loose you could wiggle them and just tighten them with your hands So I tightened those up and then I went around and checked all the spark plug wires Well one of the wires back on number seven here wasn't even connected I've pulled it off. It was on there, but it wasn't snapped on and the boot was basically torn in half. So there's the boot and the cover. So that's probably a big problem. Also on this front one, on number one there, I put new electrical tape on it, but there was electrical tape on there that was just melted. And apparently this wire had rubbed on that bracket there and rubbed through and apparently it was just arcing. So I just put some new tape on it just to try and get it running and see what it would do but that's obviously a problem as well so <clears throat> I don't don't know a whole lot about this engine um, it is a, a factory block so it did come out of something it's not a specific race engine but what I'm gonna do today is uh, I'm gonna take off all the plug wires take off the distributor cap take out the plugs and replace all that and just see what that does. See if that takes care of the miss. And then we'll take care of this carburetor later. But yeah, that's where I'm at now. I'll get all that out today. Go up to Smiley's. There's a Smiley's race shop up the road. Got to support the local shops. So that's where I'll be getting my parts from. But I know with this car, it's bodied as a 93 Lumina. But what's underneath is not 93. It's like 1988, 89, something like that. And the main thing that tells me that is that that right there. I think mid-1989 eight, or something like that was when they mandated that those had to be inside the car, behind the driver's seat. So that tells me that this is earlier than 93. But that's the car. And I'm really interested to find out what this was before. Because I think the front clip has been replaced at some point. It does have a chassis number on it. Or serial number, whatever you want to call it. Right there. And you can see underneath the paint, it's just gray and then the bar. There's nothing underneath it. But the rest of the car, I don't know if I can get a good shot with the lighting in here. The rest of the car underneath the paint has that color. Underneath the whole thing. And I have a piece of early 90s Earnhardt sheet metal and when you hold those up together that color is an exact match so I'm really curious to find out what this chassis was before 
somebody rebodied it as this thing. But that'll just have to be something I work on later. So yeah, we'll get going on this and I will post an update once I get those things fixed. This is another car that is a project for later on. This is a 1995 Kyle Petty Coors Light Silver Bullet. This one's just a roller. It doesn't have any brakes or engine or anything like that. That one is beautiful. I cannot wait to get that thing running. It's going to be fun. And I don't know why the camera doesn't pick up the, the bright pink. It makes it look darker here, but it is the bright pink. So, but that'll be for a later time. But this one is an actual petty car. It does have the chassis number. I do have the paperwork on it. So this one's, this one's definitely a cool one. But I've got too much stuff laying around. <laughs> so yeah we'll get cracking on that and i'll let you guys know how it goes take care